What's up everyone? Hope you've been keeping safe. Welcome back to another amazing episode of DIY content. Before we go on, hit the red subscribe button. It supports our channel. So today we are going to be making over this old storage cabinet. I initially wanted to break it apart and use the wood for smaller projects. But then I got inspiration from Christine's channel to use wallpaper to relieve furniture. In case you want to watch our video as well, I'll leave a link in the description box. I started out by joining the pieces of wood that had come off the bottom of the cabinet. I measured the length of the pieces of wood depending on the spaces that were inside the cardboard. I used plenty of glue for this step since I wasn't using any nails. I also glued in the piece of wood that had come off the side of the cabinet. I use one and a half inch nails to hold in the top piece of wood inside the cardboard. Next I went ahead and attached three pieces of wood on the base so that it doesn't directly touch the floor. Make sure your pieces of wood are equal to the size of the base otherwise they will protrude from the edges. I also added one inch nails all around the base since the top white cover was peeling off. I also added these pieces of wood on the front face of the cabinet to cover the spaces on the bottom end.
I did a coat of white paint to cover the rust hinges and the frames to give it a new look. I also fixed the broken door on the far end. As you can see, there's no longer an empty space. I had originally opted to do a coat of gold paint on the handles, but then I thought to wound it good well with the wallpaper and I decided to remove them. I had trouble removing some of the screws holding the handles since the cabinet was a couple of years old and the threads were rusty. So I decided to rip some of them from the door. So let's go to the fun part. I used this marble wallpaper which I got from Robert Hatching and Papers that I thought looked really good and glossy. I'll leave a link to the website on my description box in case you need to get some cool wallpapers. You want to carefully work on this step when you're gluing the wallpaper to avoid having air bubbles trapped inside. After one door was done, I thought it looked lovely. Remember to cut off the excess wallpaper on the edges and on the hinges. Working on the first door took a lot of time, but the process got easier as I worked on the other doors. I also the wallpaper on the top side of the cabinet and on the sides as well. Make sure the wallpaper touches well to the sides to avoid peeling off.
I used to left over pieces to cover the sides to avoid any wastage of the wallpaper. This is the final look guys, I must say it looks new and refreshing. If you enjoyed this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment section. Until next time, bye and God bless.